Welcome back, guys. So in today's video, we start building the first expressions in our language, uh, and we'll handle self-evaluating expressions. Now, first of all, to define semantics of our language, we'll be using this notation uh, called BNF, or Bacchus-Naur form, uh, which is mainly used for parsing, uh, but we'll be using it here uh, to also define runtime semantics. And today we'll talk about the simplest expressions, numbers and strings. And uh, with this, we're going to switch to the actual code editor and start building our language from scratch. And uh, for this project, I decided to use uh, JavaScript and in particular Node.js. Uh, please address the Node.js website and uh, see how to download, install, and execute. And uh, in general, the code will not be specific to the JavaScript and uh, will be easily portable to any other language. Uh, right, we will not be using very specific JS constructs and uh, you can easily port it to Python, C++, Rust, and uh, any other your favorite language. Okay, so I'm going to create a directory for our project and start building our interpreter. Okay, so we're going to build our machine as a class, uh, which should have, as we said, the eval method, which accepts the expression to evaluate. And initially, as you can see, we don't implement anything and just throw whenever the eval is called. And in this project, we're going to use test-driven development. Uh, so I'm going to require the assert module, uh, which will allow us uh, doing some simple tests. Uh, for now, let's just write them down. Uh, but in real project, I recommend having a specific tests and directory uh, when you put all the unit tests. So as you can see, we create a Eva instance and go into assert the first expression, uh, that is the numbers. So what is the result of evaluating number uh, one, say, in any interpreter, right? It's just one, right? When we type, uh, for example, one in the Python REPL, uh, what does it give us? It's just number one, right? It just gives the number back. And uh, we call such expressions, as we said, self-evaluating. Uh, that is, they do not require any further handling and interpreter just returns them right away. And uh, when we execute this expression, we see, bam, unimplemented. So we actually need to build the implementation for this uh, expression type. So that's exactly what we're going to do. And so the trick is simple. If we determine that the expression is a number, we just directly return this expression. That is a self-evaluating expression. And so let's add this helper function is number. Uh, I'm going to use underlying JavaScript concept of numbers and just use type of notation here. So if we passed a number, uh, this means it's a number. And uh, let's put some successful validation message at the end. Uh, let's say all assertions passed. Okay. And now when we execute, we see exactly all assertions passed, which means our interpreter works. So congrats, we have built the first interpreter, first virtual machine for the first expression type that is simple numbers. All right? Go ahead and test it with other numbers, uh, 3, 5, uh, 42, and uh, any other. It should just work. Okay, let's handle uh, the second simple expression type, uh, the strings. Uh, now, in Eva, we're going to use double quotes for strings. So whatever is passed uh, in the double quotes is considered a string. Now, the evaluation result for the string should be the value between quotation, right? We should return uh, anything that is in between the uh, double quotes. So uh, let's execute and see, yes, strings are not implemented. Uh, let's go ahead and implement them. So again, if we determine that an expression is a string, we just directly return uh, this expression. Pretty simple. Again, let's add the helper function is string, uh, parameter expression. And again, we'll be using the same exactly uh, test for the type. And also we need to check that the first and the last element in the string uh, are specifically uh, the double quote, right? In this case, we'll be treating it as a string. And I'm using the slice method uh, with a negative one to get the last element, uh, which is also should be double quote. Okay, let's go ahead and execute. And here we get assertion error, right? We expected uh, the string without quotation, but we just returned directly the expression. So let's go ahead and fix it. As we said, we need to return uh, the quotation value that is stripping the uh, quotes. Uh, okay, so these are two basic expressions and uh, we will see them a lot uh, in our language. And it's already pretty working interpreter. It just can handle two expression types, but it's fully working machine. 
Okay, I said that we'll be covering all the basic expressions, but actually let's uh, cover today also the, uh, the addition operator. So the numbers are good, but they're actually pretty useless if we can't do anything with these numbers. Right? The simplest um, operations with the numbers are the math operations. Uh, so let's add support for the addition operator. And uh, the addition operator will look as follows. So as we said, uh, the type tag should be plus, uh, which is followed by some operands. In this case, let's say it's uh, 1 plus 5 uh, should, equals, uh, should be equal to 6. And so really see addition is not implemented. Let's go ahead and add it. So I'm going to write... Uh, so if the expression is addition, that is, its type tag is plus, which is going to return implementation. And uh, what is the result of the addition? Uh, well, it's exactly the addition. That is, first operand plus second operand. That's exactly what we do. Uh, well, the first operand and the second operand. And so let's go ahead and execute. And it works. Right, we get, now we have now additions of the numbers, which is really cool. Uh, let's, uh, let's take some more complex example and uh, use, uh, for example, uh, 3 plus 2 plus 5, right, which should gives us uh, 10. And here we have some problem. Again, assertion error. And uh, I leave this issue to fix uh, for you as an assignment. And uh, we will also cover the solution in the next lecture. Okay. So congratulations, we have started building our language, and uh, in the next lectures we'll continue extending the EVA expressions. Uh, we'll talk about variables, uh, environments, and eventually we'll come to functions, closures, uh, classes, modules, and uh, all the other concepts. Uh, all right, that's it for today. Thanks, and see you in the class.